Welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our brand new die set Tiny Gift Box Deer Add-on. This add-on works with our Tiny Gift Box die and helps turn it into an adorable deer. So let's go ahead and check it out. So here is a look at all of the pieces that are included in this die set and they're super, super cute. And so you're gonna put these pieces all together onto the tiny gift box. So the first thing that we need to do is put the tiny gift box together. So I've gone ahead and die cut this from some chocolate bar cardstock. And the die creates these embossed score lines for you and all you need to do is fold along those score lines to create the box. The next step is to add some tape to the tabs of the box. So I'm gonna take some quarter inch score tape here, any nice strong tape would do, and I'm just gonna add that to those four tabs on both the left and the right side there. Then we can go ahead and peel up that liner paper and put our box together. So I'm just gonna take those tabs and line it up with the edges of the box, creating this really, really awesome, cute, tiny little box that's perfect to put a little chocolate or little candies and things like that in there. Now that our box is all formed, we can start to work with the deer elements here. So I've cut the face with the eyes there out of some vanilla malt cardstock, and then I cut the solid face piece there out of some black licorice cardstock. I added a little liquid glue with my glue tube to the back of my face, and I'm gonna layer that black piece on there, and that's gonna color in the little eyes of the deer. The next step then is to add a little more liquid glue and then take that whole eye area there and add it to the deer face, which is so super cute. And I've cut the deer face out of chocolate bar cardstock. I cut the antlers from paper bag cardstock, added a little liquid glue there to the bottom, and then I can layer the face right on top. And then I'm gonna add that cute little nose. There's two different styles of nose, one with the little smile and one without it. In this case, I'm gonna take the little deer nose that doesn't have the smile, I cut it out of some red cardstock, and I'm gonna make this guy into Rudolph, which is super cute. I'm adding some glue to the front of the box, and then I can layer my cute little deer face right on top of that. The next thing I'm gonna do is add the little belly there, that little kind of half moon shape is the belly. I'll add some liquid glue once again and then layer that on the bottom and I love the finishing touch that that little belly on him gives. Then I'm gonna add some little blush cheeks that I've cut from some ballet slippers cardstock, which is just adorable. Now these are the legs for the deer and you'll see that we have the little freckles for the legs, like for the little deer's bum. And so I went ahead and ran that through my die cut machine. And then I took some vanilla malt cardstock and I just freehand cut a little square or rectangle, whatever that might be there. This is messy, no one's ever gonna see it. I added some liquid glue around those little freckles. And then now we can flip it over and we've colored in some freckles there with the vanilla malt cardstock. And it's such a cute little look, I love it. We're also gonna add a little liquid glue to the bottom there and add the little hooves there cut from some paper bag cardstock. And so these little finishing details are so cute. For the legs, you don't have to add the freckles and you don't have to add the hooves. Like if you wanted to make a ton of them and you didn't have time to do those details, it still looks super, super cute. So now we can take those legs and we're gonna add some glue to the sides of the boxes and add those on to the box. And what's so cute is that these legs make it look like the deer is standing, which is just absolutely adorable. So we'll add them on the right side and then we'll go ahead and add it on the left side as well. The deer tail has two parts and it's got this little piece that you layer on it and we've cut that from the vanilla malt again and it gives that nice little detail to the deer's tail. And then we have a little holly leaf and holly berry. So I'm gonna layer the little berries right on top of those leaves and I think it's just adorable. It's just a cute little detail to add to this little Rudolph deer here. And so now we'll add a little glue to the back of that and put that in the deer's hair. <laughs> so that's super cute. And then now I'm gonna take the tail and I'm gonna add it to the flap that gets tucked into the box. And you'll see how nicely that's gonna fit on there. So I added a little liquid glue and then I can just layer that deer tail right into that little arc shape of where you pull the box open and closed. And it's definitely that super cute finishing touch for this box. So now you can see just how adorable it is with the little freckles on the side and the hooves. And then that's how you open the box, you just pull on the tail and then you can put some little treats inside or maybe a note for someone. There's super cute decor as well. 
I love that you can mix and match the elements with this die set to create a deer that's just kind of a cute deer for year round or more Christmassy deer with the holly and the red nose. So here's a look at that little red nose Rudolph version. And then here we have a version with the just black nose with the little smile. You can see if you took that holly off how cute it would be. And then here's one with the more serious nose. So he's super cute too. So now we're gonna work on that bag that I just showed you guys. So we're gonna be die cutting some really rainbow Christmas paper with the goodie bag die. And we're gonna go ahead and fold along the score lines that the die created for us. So we're gonna fold those two side tabs and then we can fold the whole arm in and then form the bottom of the box as well. Then we'll be taking some quarter inch score tape, some nice strong tape, any kind of tape would work here, and we're gonna layer that right onto the tabs on both of these pieces to help form the back. Once we have those on both of the tab pieces, we're also gonna add a little bit of tape to the inside bottom of one of the goodie bag pieces. Then we can remove that liner paper and we're gonna take these pieces forming a T-shape and we're gonna attach them together. And you'll see how the bag is starting to kind of become created here. Then we can pull off the liner paper on all of the tab pieces. And then we can take those tabs and lift them up and connect the tabs with the sides of the bag. We'll do that on all four sides of the bag. And then to form the gusset of the bag, all you need to do is hold the bag and just pinch your fingers in, push them in like that, pinch the bag closed. And how cute is that? I love that it looks kind of like a little grocery bag or a little tote bag or something. So now to decorate this bag, we're gonna cut some storm cloud cardstock with a scalloped circle, and we're gonna use a stitch circle to cut some mermaid cardstock. And then we're gonna use the snowfall backdrop die to cut some snowfall from these circles. So you'll see that I'm lining up the circle with an area of the snow that I think will look nice on there, running it through my die cut machine, and now I have two circles with this awesome snow detail. We'll then add a little liquid glue to the back of those mermaid cardstock pieces and then layer them on a white circle so that that way the white peeks through those holes and it looks like this beautiful snowfall. And we'll repeat that for the other circle. To add some snow, we're gonna use some sparkle cardstock in the pixie dust color and we're gonna cut that with a stitched hillside border and we'll do that twice because we're making two of these little circles. And then we can go ahead and layer our snowfall circles onto that scallop circle. And then we want to create some trees. So we've die cut the forest border from some noble fir cardstock. And we're just going to take those little glittery snow pieces we created earlier and line them up and then use our scissors to trim down this awesome little forest scene onto this cute little snowy circle. So I'm just going to trim off any of the excess. And then I can go ahead and layer these pieces together. So I'll add a little glue there to the trees and add the snow on top of that. And then I can take the whole thing and layer it onto my cute little snowfall circle. And I'll repeat that for the second one. So I'm just gonna trim off any of the excess from that forest border there. And then I can go ahead and attach those pieces together and attach the whole thing to the circle. So today we're recreating an awesome goodie bag by Megan. So thank you so much, Megan. And one of my favorite things about this bag was the beautiful dimension that the bag had because she had inked the edges of all of her cardstock pieces for the deer. So I'm taking some antique linen distress ink, which is a really light brown, any really light brown ink would do, with a foaming blending tool. And I'm just flicking along the sides of my die cut pieces. And look at how amazing that looks. And it's so quick and easy to do and it adds so much to it. So I'm gonna go around and do that to all of the pieces. The other thing that I really love about this bag is the fact that Megan used this die cut without the tiny gift box, which is really cool. So you can make cute little gift boxes, but you can also use this deer on other things. And in this case, we're gonna be using it on a goodie bag. So next up, we're gonna cut our little freckles there from his legs. So I'm just gonna run that through my die cut machine. And then I'll just trim off a little piece of vanilla malt cardstock and layer that behind those freckles to give them a nice light color on the deer's leg. Then we can go ahead and add our hooves to the deer as well. So we've die cut these. Those are from some ground copy cardstock there. So we're gonna layer those right on. And then we can start to work on the tail. So I'm gonna layer the lighter piece of the tail onto the darker piece, and then we can add that tail to the little deer's bum there. So it's gonna be like you're looking at the back of the deer when you're looking at the back of the goodie bag, which is so super cute. 
So I wanted the deer on the front of the bag to also have feet. So I went ahead and die cut one of the feet pieces there, just trimmed off the little top part of that. And now I can layer those two together so that my deer on the front has some feet. So it's as if I'm looking at him straight on. So I'm just gonna layer those on there and then add the same hooves that I have for the back of the deer onto the front. You can see just how adorable this is looking. Then once we've got that all done, we can go ahead and form our whole deer. So we can add that little black piece there to the back of the eyes to help color in the eyes and then add that on there. We're also going to be working with the smaller nose there instead of the nose with the smile. So it's just two different looks. They're both really, really cute. And then we can add the little belly on him as well. The set also has a little bow tie die, so we cut that from some red sparkle cardstock and we're going to add his little bow tie right on there and then give him some antlers as well. Now because this deer is going to be on some blue cardstock, he's not a part of the bag, the blue cardstock was going to be showing through the ear holes, which he thought might be kind of weird. So what we did was we hand cut some little vanilla malt cardstock and we're going to layer that behind the ears to help color them in. So we're just going to layer that just like that and you can just trim off any of the excess that you might have there. And that way we can use him on a card front instead of just in a three dimensional nature. I'm also going to die cut the ears again and those are the little ears insert pieces. I'm I'm going to color them pink with an R20 marker, a nice light pink Copic marker there. And then I can add a little glue into the ears and drop those in to those little die cut areas. And now he'll have some cute little pink ears. So it's a really fun little detail to add and it just makes him look really special. Next up, we'll take the little deer face there and we'll layer it onto one of our circles that we created earlier. And then we can layer the back of the deer as well. Then I'm going to go ahead and just add a bunch of tape runner to the back of both of these circles and we can layer that onto the goodie bag that we created earlier. And this is my favorite part about the whole bag is that you've got the deer face on the front and then we're going to have the deer bum on the back which is just so sweet. And so you could drop a cute little gift in here, even a gift card. It's just a really sweet and nice thoughtful way to present some little treats or something. So now we thought it would be fun to create a little tag. So we're going to use one of these winter tags here, die cut from some sparkle cardstock. And that's the smallest stitch circle there, die cut from mermaid cardstock. And we're going to use the Say What gift tags there to stamp You're Such a Deer. So I love those little tiny sentiments because they're perfect for tags. Then we can go ahead and heat that up with our heat tool. We added some white heat embossing powder to that. And then we can layer that right onto our snowflake. And then take some silver sparkle lawn trimmings and just put that right through the tag tag and then we can tie that on to the back. We'll just trim off any of that excess twine and then add another little holly leaf and berries there also cut from the glitter card sock to kind of tie into his bow tie and how adorable is this bag. Oh my goodness I cannot wait to give this as a gift. It's so cute and so sweet. So next up, we're going to be working with the idea of using this die set without the tiny gift box and create a card with it. So first up, we're going to be creating a cool sky. So we have tumbled glass distressed oxide ink. We also have salty ocean and wilted violet. And so we're going to start off by starting off of the paper and then moving on, slowly building up that color to create a really cool sky. So here now you'll see we're going to go in with our darker blue color and kind of blend over the edge of that light blue. Then we can take the light blue and blend it back and forth, light to dark, light to dark, to really create a seamless edge. And then we're gonna add that awesome purple to the top and then kind of take the blue over the purple to really help blend it and create more of like a bluey purple color instead of a bright purple color. And I think it's looking absolutely gorgeous. Next up, we're gonna take that snowfall backdrop die and we're gonna run that awesome ink sky through our die cut machine. And now we've got this really cool die cut snow texture to it. We've also die cut a leafy tree backdrop out of some narwhal cardstock. We can add a little liquid glue to the back of that whole sky scene and then layer it onto some white cardstock so that that snow is going to be peeking through that beautiful sky. Next up, we're gonna take some sparkle cardstock in the pixie dust color and die cut that with a stitch till side border. And so we're gonna die cut two different hills so that we can layer those together and create the really nice, beautiful look of kind of rolling hills of snow. Now it's time to work with our tiny gift box deer. So we're gonna add our hooves to the little deer back there. And then we can go ahead and add some inking with some distress ink. So we're gonna do the same thing where we're just adding a little bit of inking to our die cut pieces so that they look really dynamic and really beautiful on the card front. 
Then we can start to put the whole deer together. And we're gonna do the same thing we did earlier by cutting the tops of the little back part off and layering the front on it so it looks like he has little feet and you're standing looking at a deer staring straight at you. We can add his little eyes and then his nose as well. And then we can start to build our scene. So we're gonna add that beautiful sparkly snow there to our snowy scene. And then we can add that tree right on top. And I love the look of that tree on there. It's so gorgeous. Then next up, we can layer another piece of snow. And I love the look of the snow in behind the tree and also in front of the tree. We're gonna add a little tail to this guy. So we're gonna add a little more inking and then put the lighter part of the tail on top of the darker part of the tail and then layer that behind him so it looks like his tail is sticking out from the side, which is a really, really cute look. I love how adorable he looks in this snowy scene. So to give kind of a nice little Christmassy holiday feel to this card, we're gonna add the little green holly and the red holly berries, which is so super cute. And then we're gonna die cut a stitched rectangle frame out of some storm cloud cardstock. Then we can take that whole frame and layer it onto the card. And I think when you add that darker frame, it really makes the whole scene pop. The sky looks gorgeous and I love the lighter colored tree with the darker colored frame. To add a little detail to the tree to kind of go along with this whole snowy theme that we have going there, we're gonna take our glue tube and add a bunch of liquid glue all around the branches of the tree. Then we're gonna take some chunky glitter, which is this awesome, gorgeous, really sparkly, chunky glitter. We're gonna layer that onto the glue, letting the glue pick up that glitter, and then we can kind of knock off any of the excess. And you'll see how it really looks like this beautiful glittery snow because of that chunky texture of the glitter. We're gonna be stamping Merry Christmas from the Winter Simply Sentiments, and we're gonna cut down this piece here. So we're gonna cut off the Christmas and the Merry so that we can layer both of the pieces onto our scene. Then we're gonna go ahead and take some foam squares there and add that behind those pieces, and you'll see how cool that looks popped up from this beautiful snowy scene. And then our card is all done. I love how that chunky glitter looks in the tree. It's so fun and so beautiful. So next up, we have some amazing projects from the design team, and I love how Lynette used her cute little deer in this awesome wreath. It's so adorable. Yanea's little deer boxes are so cute. I love the bow that she added and the little pom-pom red nose for Rudolph. This card by Kay is so gorgeous. I love how she used the reverse stitch scallop squares there. It's such a cool way to highlight that deer. And this is the bag by Megan that inspired us to make ours today. I love how she has the front of the deer and the back of the deer and the two different looks of deer she got depending on how she added the different accessories included in the set. And then here, I love how Lynette took her deer and put him on a little scallop circle. It gave him this beautiful little ground to stand on and it's just so adorable. So I cannot wait to see what you guys do with this deer add-on die, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.